Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Metaverse. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology or uh, virtual technology. So let's start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. So friend, uh, imagine a virtual world in, will in which people live, work, shop and interact with others all from the comfort of their couch in the physical world this is known as basically metaverse metaverse didn't become a household term until facebook changed its corporate name to meta in october uh, 2021 at that time the company announced plans to spend 10 billion dollar over the next year on technologies to build out its vision of the metaverse the metaverse is considered a next evolution of the internet. It will take many forms including gaming, online communities and business meetings where people collaborate via digital facsimile or avatar of themselves. Okay. Now what is metaverse actually? The metaverse concept is not new now. It was first described in 1992 novel Snow Crash. Several companies later developed online communities based on the concept, most notably Second Life released in 200, uh, 2003. In the metaverse, people use avatars to represent themselves, communicate with each other and virtually build out the community. In the metaverse, digital currency is used to buy clothes or weapons and shielding in the case of video games and many other items. Users can also virtually travel through the metaverse for fun with no goal in mind using a virtual reality headset and controllers. Snow Crash was more of a uh, dystopian view of the future and didn't put the metaverse in a positive light. Another uh, Neil Stephenson coined the term metaverse as a kind of next generation virtual reality based internet, one way to achieve status. In Stephenson's metaverse was by technical skills which was represented by sophistication of a user's avatar. Another indication of status was the ability to access certain restricted environments a procure cursor to the pay valves and registration requirements some websites use today. Okay, now what is the difference between internet and the metaverse? Friend, the internet is a network of billions of computers, millions of servers and other electronic devices. Once online internet users uh, can communicate with each other, view and interact with uh, websites and buy and sell goods and services. The metaverse doesn't compare with the internet, it builds on it. In the metaverse, users traverse a virtual world that mimics aspects of the physical world using such technologies such as virtual reality vr augmented reality ar ai uh, like uh, social media and digital currency the internet is something that people browse but to a degree people can live in the metaverse actually even governments may extend their reach into the metaverse for example while most countries have a relatively static presence on the internet uh, like Barbados plans to open a diplomatic embassy in the metaverse specifically to the online world decentralized. The growth of the internet has spawned many services that are leading the way to the creation of the metaverse. In gaming you are uh, Roblox, uh, Minecraft and other immersive video games and even Zoom follow a foreshadow what the metaverse is designed to offer now metaverse companies here are the some a few companies that their uh, own metaverse visions facebook first we talk about facebook uh, it is very important in an basically in an open uh, letter facebook ceo mark zuckerberg uh, zuckerberg said that his company's metaverse investment represented a fundamental change and was part of a new vision for the social media giant designed to bring the metaverse to life. He also said that Facebook is a metaverse first. 
not Facebook first company that's an important change because it means users eventually wouldn't need a Facebook account to use other services in the metaverse among other non Facebook products Facebook has already sold millions of millions of its uh, oculus VR ha uh, headgear units for navigating the metaverse in the meta announcement uh, Zuckerberg said Facebook aims to accelerate the development of the fundamental technologies including social platforms and creative tools required to bring the metaverse to life after the metaverse new dropped in late 2021 Facebook launched horizon worlds a VR space that users can navigate as an avatar and tools for developers to create additional virtual worlds Epic Games Epic Games makes makers of the popular online uh, shooter game series Fortnite with some 350 million users and the Unreal Engine software for game developers plan to stake a claim in the metaverse following a $1, $1 billion round of funding in 2021. This included $200 million from Sony Group Corporation. Epic Games' vision of the metaverse differs from Facebook in that it wants to provide a communal space for users to interact with each other and brands without a news feed riddled with ads. Microsoft Friend, the meta metaverse is coming to Microsoft team as well. The software giant's online meetings competitor to Zoom, Microsoft said it will release Mesh for Microsoft Teams in 2022. The new service lets Teams users in different physical locations join collaborative and shared holographic experiences during virtual meetings. Microsoft said Mesh will let users establish a virtual presence on any device using a customized avatar of themselves. This builds in on the earlier announcement of Mesh for Microsoft, a platform for developers that includes a suit of artificial intelligence powered tools for avatar, session management, special rendering, synchronization across multiple users and holo uh, portation. Holoportation is a 3D capture technology that lets users reconstruct and transmit high quality 3D models of people in real time. Microsoft has already been working with professional services firm Accenture to create mesh enabled immersive spaces. Accenture hires more than 100k people every year and uses mesh to help onboard new employees. New hires uh, meet on team to receive instructions on how to create a digital avatar in Access One Accenture Park, a shared virtual space that's part of the onboarding process. The futuristic amusement park like space includes a central conference room, a virtual boardroom and digital uh, monorails that new hires use to travel to different exhibits. Now, uh, we, uh, we, uh, I'm sure that you have a clear idea about Metaverse. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video, friend. Thank you.